hello friends welcome back to my channel and uh, today we are back with another tutorial on arduino so in this uh, video we'll be seeing uh, to do an arduino lcd project so before we start i just want to tell that you know what we will be doing in this video is like uh, we'll be going through the step by step process of creating the circuit for this Ar arduino lcd display tutorial and we'll also write in the code to display some content on the LCD okay so uh, usually you know if you go for this project you can go for 16 bar uh, by 2 LCD and you sh and when you do the connection you may see two kind of LCD in the practical cases you know some of the pins will be different so that's why I just want to show uh, these uh, two pictures if you see the ground here and the left uh, LCD shows VSS and uh, the next one is VCC right and uh, next uh, VEE and then you know RSRWE you know and that then it shows like LED minus and plus right but if you see some uh, LCD display it will show like the first pin is ground then VCC and you know uh, contrast uh, RSRWE and you know then the data pins and also last one the plus and minus for the LED so don't worry you know it just uh, naming uh, will be a little bit different but you have to connect to the ground firewall contrast and uh, those things we will just talk about what this pin about uh, so that you know when you do the setup you know what you have to connect so before uh, I get into that I know I will be sharing these links in the video description where I can see more about the Arduino uh, and the LED details okay so I would request you to kindly subscribe to my channel, uh, like this video and uh, press the bell icon so that you can get all the new videos notified. So kindly share and comment as well on your feedbacks. Okay. So before I start into the actual uh, circuit, I just want to talk about these pins, you know, which we uh, told in the LCD, right? So the RS pin, you know, which is the one which controls the LCD memory writing, which you are doing, okay? And these R and W pins are the read-write pins and the uh, enable pin, and eight data pins it have, and uh, at the end you have the uh, backlight uh, contrast pin, like uh, the positive and negative for the uh, backlight, okay? So we will see how to make use of these uh, pins and how to do the connection in the uh, Arduino and uh, with the LCD okay so we'll be using Tinkercad for this simulation okay so once uh, in the Tinkercad we'll do the connection we'll create the complete circuit and we'll uh, create the code as well so let me start a new project in Tinkercad and if you don't know what is Tinkercad it's a uh, free uh, software where you can simulate the Arduino projects okay and you can create an account in that and you can start uh, doing this it's a free uh, software so you can do it uh, as a free account so just look out my previous tutorials for that so uh, because you know I have had a video to show you why Tinkercad you can use okay so let's start with the uh, the basic thing uh, you have to you need to have a breadboard right and uh, you also need to have an Arduino board and uh, you need to have an LCD so let me add an LCD on top of this breadboard which is easier to do the connection okay okay now if you see this uh, L LCD you can see ground VCC V O R S R W E and the data pins LED LED right so I showed you what these pins are for so you need to connect it uh, based on that okay okay let's start uh, the connection so uh, let me start with the ground so let me use the ground uh, and uh, connect it to the one of the breadboard so you can use the ground from there okay and let me use the firewall from Arduino as, as well for power okay that will be red okay so now we'll be using these uh, pins uh, for our uh, connections so we have a uh, you know ground and uh, 5 volt here okay so I'm not going to connect uh, the ground and 5 volt uh, directly here I want to make use of uh, a potentiometer and why this is uh, using it you, you can even do without this uh, if you want to start but the problem is sometimes you know the your LCD will not show the what you want to show as an output because the 
you know the lighting uh, of the leds you, you need to control it so for that we are using this potentiometer so we can control the voltage that and the leds show the what we are trying to uh, write in there okay okay so uh, this one is going to ground so let me connect it to ground and i will connect this one to ground as well so that is connected and uh, this is going to the 5 volt okay so let me connect this one to the 5 volt and uh, i'm going to connect uh, this one uh, this button so i'm going to use this uh, pin to the 5 volt okay of uh, Okay, so I'm connecting this in the five, uh, VCC of uh, the LCD, okay, and uh, the terminal 2 I'll be using for uh, ground, okay. So this is, I'm just this using to control uh, the LCD, okay, so and this wiper I'm going to use the contrast, okay. So that as I said, you know, if you want to make use of uh, this connection without uh, potentiometer you can give a try I'm not sure how you know it will work so sometimes you may get the output if you not you know you need to use a potentiometer to control it okay so let me connect this one to here okay let me color it a little bit different this is going to red and this is going to black Okay, so this is the with the potentiometer. Now it's time for uh, the other connections. Okay, so I will start uh, with this RS to register and this is read write. Okay, so I'm going to connect uh, this read write into the ground. Okay, so it can write. And uh, these two pins, the enable and RS pin, I'm going to use uh, two pins from the Arduino. Okay, so I'm going to use the pin. 13 is the first one so you have to be make sure that you make use these uh, any pins but you need to use these uh, pin numbers in the code okay i'll show you where we are using this pin numbers okay so you can use any pin even you can use the a0 a1 a2 a3 pins as well let me use some colors here okay so we have used the rs and e from the arduino 12 and 13. now i'll start from the left okay so this uh, part is the going to the cathode which, which is the negative and this is the anode so which will go to positive okay so i'm going to use the resistor in between so i'll connect a resistor here and i'll connect this one over here okay and this resistor I will give a 220 ohm okay, and uh, this one I will directly connect to the 5 volt okay now we have to use the data pin so I'm going to use uh, D7, 6, 5 and 4 so I'll be using the pins uh, uh, no, 5, 4, 3, 2 for this so let me start uh, from here so I will uh, use uh, this one which will go to the pin number two okay and let me connect to the next one to pin number three the next one pin number four so again it doesn't matter you know you can use uh, any pins but we just need to we use that for our code as well which i will show you again as i said okay so let me connect this one to pin number five okay so these are the data pins okay so now we are done with the connections okay so this is what we require uh, for the lcd to work so now we need to start with the coding part okay so this is the circuit 
okay and uh, we are using potentiometer so if you don't want you can use it without that as well okay so let me go to the coding part uh, let me add something first okay the first part is like we need to import um, the liquid crystal dot edge library okay so if you don't have uh, this library installed on your uh, machine when you are running the code to Arduino it will not work so what you need to do is you have to open your Arduino IDE and you do need to go to tools and go to you know uh, libraries and there you can search for LCD and you can install this uh, liquid crystal uh, library okay so once you install uh, it will be there so the next step is uh, we need to define uh, what uh, the pins which we are going to use so I'm going to use 1312 which is for uh, these pins okay RS and E so if you are using a uh, different pins uh, you need to update that okay so RS come first then it comes the E then the other pins uh, 5432 which will be uh, these pins uh, DB4567 okay so I'm going to use 5432 so that's the, uh, to do the basic setup okay now the next setup is like in the white setup we need to start the LCD so since it's a um, 16 bar to uh, LCD so I'm going to use LCD dot begin uh, function and I'm going to give uh, 16 comma 2 okay and uh, you can write the code in the white setup itself if you just want to run it there as a one-time uh, single setup running but I would prefer you know in this I want to write it in the wide loop okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to display something on the LCD uh, so uh, the LCD have two rows that's why these two so uh, first row I want to write something then I want to write in the second row so how you can do that is you know the you need to use uh, this function okay so I'm sorry it's not LCD dot begin so you need to have a LCD set cursor okay so this function we are going to use and I'm going to set 0 0 so that means we are going to use the first row of LCD and I'm going to print something there so it's called uh, LCD dot print function and if you see I have given some space here so that it can come to a little bit to the right okay if you don't give the space it will start from the top left okay so let me do the same thing uh, again so I was since I want to write it on the second row as well okay so I'm going to use change this one to uh, one so it will be second row and I'm going to change the LCD dot print so welcome to the tips for you okay so this is what I'm going to print welcome to will be on the first row and the uh, uh, tips for you in the second row so let's see how it works okay let me start the simulation Now if you see the LCD is lit but you don't see anything there right because the LED is you know as I told you know sometime it will not work unless you change the potentiometer. Now you see when I change the values of the resistance you know it, it started coming up right. So you need to find the place where exactly you will start getting the output. So now you see it's displaying like welcome to the tips for you right. So that's why you know it's uh, needed for uh, the actual project because when I was doing the actual project uh, I was not getting the actual content in a good uh, brightness. So it was showing something but it was not bright enough. So then I had to add a potentiometer and I have to control the you know the thing then it was able to display it correctly. So that's all you know with this tutorial it's pretty simple. So what we are going to do is we are going to use the crystal dot edge uh, library so you need to install it then you set up this uh, function then you start the LCD then you just uh, set the cursor to which row you want to write and then you print what you want to print so you can change the content as much as you want so let me start the sim stop the simulation you can see it stopped so you can do this same setup with uh, the same contents okay so you can do a practical with the devices you have it then just let me know how it works for you see so if you have any feedbacks you can send a comment in the video uh, comment section and I am always available through Facebook or Instagram I am you know reachable so you can ask any queries you have it so let's hope you know it will be helpful for you so that is all uh, for this tutorial I hope it's informative for you thank you for watching kindly subscribe to my channel like uh, the videos share and comment